Now, before I go ahead and teach you how to make the gigantic game and such, it's important that I teach you how the game engine works. So, when you first load up a game made by Game Maker Studio 2, it's going to open up the first room in this room tab. A room is a level or scene in your game which holds your player, objects, and sprites and such. In this room you can set your background to a certain color or a sprite, so I could put the sprite red and I can tile that. And you have a lot of freedoms with your room. Now objects. An object is a thing in your game that can interact with anything and with the game itself. It can also save and load data and move around and much more. A good example of an object is a player. Let me drag that in. Your player or this object, this object can take keyboard input and it can move around on the X and Y axis. It's also important to keep in note that the Y axis is inverted in the Game Maker engine. So if I place my object right here, which I just dragged in my object, if I move it down, you can see here that right here uh, it indicates the X and Y coordinate of your mouse on the room. So this right now is Oh well, it's it's close to zero zero, but this is near zero zero, and you can see here that the y coordinate is actually increasing the further I uh, move my cursor down. And if I move my cursor to the right, then the x uh, coordinate increases. Now a sprite is really simple. A sprite is a image or a series of images which you can load into your object or your room as a background. Now. An example of a sprite, or an animated sprite, is SBR Red, which I've created. There are two images in this. Now I can set the speed of this sprite, which one frame per second is its speed at the moment. So every second it's going to change frames or change images in order from left to right every second. So. You can also do it per game frame, which FPS stands for the amount of times your game updates, or frames per second. And you can see here, one frame per second. If I change this to two, then it's going to change two times a second. If I change this to three, it's going to change this three times a second. It's going to look really uncomfortable if I start setting this higher than three frames per second. So I hope you understand how objects, rooms, and sprites work, and I'll see you next.